Now our next experiment, you guys are all going to make your own ethanol out of syrup that you can put on your pancakes. Okay, we have two bottles at each table if you guys want to pair up. In each of these bottles, we need four spoonfuls of corn syrup. So if one of you guys wants to pour that corn syrup in, here you go, bud. We need four spoons. Yeah, yeah, like good. Good. Oh. The best is water. That's why they put paper on. Yeah. Try not to get that on you. Go get some wipes if you get on you. Four spoonfuls of corn syrup. Then after you put in the corn syrup, let me see that package of yeast right there, buddy. Okay, then after you put your four spoonfuls of corn syrup, add this package of yeast. I see that yeast there, but I made um, elephant toothpaste. And a yeast is a type of fungus. It's kind of like a mushroom. And the yeast is going to eat that corn syrup and convert the sugar into ethyl alcohol or ethanol. So you guys are making ethanol a replacement for gasoline. And then the last thing we need to add is some hot water. And it'll be ready to slow off. So when you guys are done with the syrup, if you would take it over to these guys over here, okay? Mr. Porn Master Skills over here. Please say something else. <laughs> it doesn't smell like anything. Whoa! That is hot. Okay. One of guys, hold on to them. <laughs> I think I am your professor. You guys still have the same amount. What do you guys hold the bottle? Oh, yeah. This water is about 120 degrees. The yeast you likes the hot water, water in order to convert that, that corn syrup sir. into ethanol. Oh, so you swallow it. Oh, it's supposed to blow up itself. Yeah. Okay. Not up and down. It's like that. Okay, so. There we go. We just gotta wait now. Your balloon is going to start to fill up. Oh. And the balloon is going to fill up with carbon dioxide or CO2 gas. That is a byproduct of making ethanol. And that is what normally is vented into the atmosphere to cause the global warming. But here in Decatur, we're capturing the CO2 from making ethanol and storing it deep underground to prevent global warming. So just keep swirling those bottles around, guys. And your balloon eventually will fill up. That one over there I made about an hour ago. Okay. Y'all right, right. <laughs> balloon is deep. This is like a cappuccino. I don't get how he's just there's a cappuccino. Yeah, cappuccino. Yeah. Keep swirling around, guys. That balloon will fill up. Make sure you have a good seal on your balloon. Oh, we gotta get a good seal. Good seal? Take it off the right. Man, you don't get it. That's just that's really hard. You swallow like this. Why are you doing so well? Doing good. Stay up. Stay. No, you go back. No, it's not. No, it's not. You gotta. Let's go. Man, see, um, oh, um, yeah. has a hole in it. <laughs> Man, you just y'all don't count. Just about, just about <laughs> you might all get some beans. <laughs> 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 you might get some beans. You guys work that one. I don't know. Hey. Added yeast to our bottle. Four spoonfuls of corn syrup. Okay. Added the yeast to our bottle for fermentation. And the yeast then converted the sugar in the corn syrup into ethanol or ethyl alcohol. And then as a byproduct of that fermentation process, your balloon filled with CO2 gas. Okay, so if your balloon is filling up, that means it worked. Now you wouldn't be able to put this in your car, you still have to distill it, you have to remove the water from the ethanol, but you guys did make a replacement for, for gasoline uh, from syrup you could put on your pancakes. Now, in your balloon, the CO2 gas, we have this big ATM ethanol plant right across the street. Normally, 
the CO2 is just vented to the atmosphere to contribute to global warming, but ADM is capturing that CO2 and storing it deep underground to prevent global warming. Okay.